the nil draw on the road, where Boxer to send it in. Ian, what do you make of that? Uh, I thought it was a tough game, very, very tough. I felt they came out of the blocks very quick. Uh, I think the, the, you see they set the stall out. They, uh, they pressed us very high up. Um, very aggressive, I felt, that first 20 minutes. Um, and it took, a, it took a good 20 minutes for us to get in the game. I felt once we got the ball down and passed it and uh, started to get a feel into the game, I felt we, we were starting to get into the game and then the half-time whistle came and then I thought second half we were very good. They've had a couple of long shots. Um, Michael's had to make one save and... Uh, and one has just gone past the post, but I felt we, I felt we dictated play for long periods in the second half without really creating a lot. But they defended in numbers. Um, they went from their three at the back to virtually five second half. Um, but we got in some good areas, got some uh, probably five or six corners, and, and probably their a final decision or a final uh, pass or, or cross or corner probably wasn't to the level of uh, performance that we required tonight to, to, to take all three points. Another clean sheet. I think most City fans are amazed by how many we've kept so far this season. What would you put it down to so far? Just hard work, really. Hard work and uh, dedication from from everybody that includes, as I said, uh, the, the, the management staff, um, the, the goalkeeper coach, the goalkeeper uh, and the team. Um, and I'm not going to single out the back four, but the back four have been excellent. Um, but I think you have to look at the way Sean Jeffers uh, defence from the front, the midfield have been fantastic the way they've protected the back four um, and the back four have done a great job and, and as we've seen with Michael, Michael's had to come and collect some crosses tonight, he's made one great save late in the second half, um, apart from that he hasn't had a lot to do, um, so we have to accept it, um, as I say, you know, you know, teams are not going to just turn up and let us win games of football um, and I think you see, that, you know, they set their stall out early on, uh, there was a tremendous work ethic about the way they played, they, they squeezed us and uh, and as I say, puts under massive pressure. And we've had to overcome all of that um, and still come away with a clean sheet, which was good. I just felt that a little bit more quality in that, that final third in the second half. I felt we could have gone on and won the game, but we, we seem to be lacking that little bit of quality tonight. Maybe from the way the game was set out, that, that it was 100 mile an hour, um, that, that neither side really had any composure on the ball. Um, and that was probably the, the reason why it ended up nil-nil. Last season you said you'd assess where you were after 10 games. This season we're now at 10 games, 10 games unbeaten. You must be delighted with how we started. I think we have to be, and as I just said to the players there, the players are despondent, the players are down, um, which is a fantastic uh, reaction to, to drawing nil-nil. But I've just said to them there, you know, their commitment so far and their, their performance and, and the, the performance they've put on home and away has been outstanding. And, and they should be proud of what they've done. Um, but what they've got to do is they've set themselves up now to to every team that, that comes and and plays against us to try and beat us. And, and you've got to overcome all of that. Um, so you still have to maintain that, that physicality. You still have to maintain a mag magnificent work rate and commitment. And then we've got to try and just calm ourselves down. That's why we put David Noble on with 15, 20 minutes to go that hopefully he could just calm us down and get us passing the ball. Um, but as I say, you have to give Oxford City credit. They, uh, they worked extremely hard. They defended for their lives. and. Uh, and, and, and made things really difficult for us and, and they probably ended up with the two best chances of the game late on. Uh, apart from that, there probably was hardly any, any opportunities to, to score a goal. I just think it was two very, very organised uh, defences that, that, that sort of nullified each other and, and I think that the game ended up as we expected going into that last 20 minutes, nil-nil. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Ian. No problem. Thank you.